Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Joseph Mercado's inspirational keyword video. Today is Thursday, March 16th, 2017 at approximately 5.30 p.m. And today's keyword is financial stability. And the quote goes like this. Financial stability is of the mind in what you are receptive to in your spirit. The habits you've incurred throughout life reflects the management of your finances. Be stable with your thoughts, emotions, and actions while stabilizing your group of people you associate with. Rub shoulders with successful people who have experienced a financial breakthrough or with people who are on their way in doing so. Any unstable measure will turn into a stable environment once you accept new financial habits into your life. So what this quote of inspiration means exactly is if you in your mind think that it's not possible to generate abundance or prosperity or wealth into your life, then you're going to attract that kind of a lifestyle. If you have any form of doubt that you're in deservance of financial blessing or, again, being prosperous, then you're going to turn what I like to use as the, you know, the pipe analogy. When you have water flowing through a pipe and you have a valve, and if you close that valve, it shuts off the ability and the, and the, and the consistency of that water flowing through it to its next place where it's destined to go. And we as people can tend to do that also. When we shut the valve off to belief and thinking that something is possible. So you always want to keep that valve open and knowing that it's okay to receive blessings into your life. You, know, you want to give out and you want to be able to receive. So it's always a two-way street, not a one-way avenue. But you want to make sure that you're open to what's being given to you at the time that it is. Because, you know, it's, it's God places all those dots in life, financial blessings and opportunities. But if you just leave it there or if you're doing other things that are hindering your ability to connect that dot to where it is that you've got to go in life then that's going to rest on your shoulders. That's why you want to rub shoulders with people who are more successful. Stand on the shoulders of giants so you can oversee the forest. You can see exactly what's going on. And be careful who you associate with. If you're hanging around people that aren't being financially successful or that have a plan to get there or that are taking that route, then you might want to reconsider the group of people that you're spending time with. And it's going to affect you ultimately. You know Who you're friends with and your friends' friends are friends with ultimately affects you through that chain of energy. And, you know, this is how you think, especially as an entrepreneur, you know, you want that financial breakthrough, it's got to happen within your mind first. You know, you got to break that curse or the, or the financial uh, doubt that it's not meant for you to have it. And just switch that around and turn that into where you are in deservance. You know, negotiate with your thoughts that it does rotate in your favor and that you do tell yourself that, you know, it's okay. It's okay to have success, you know, and, and attract that into your life. You don't have to chase it. If you're chasing finances and something's wrong, you want to redevelop those habits and create something new for yourself. But just take this as an inspirational message of, of, of encouragement. And if you want to check out some more educational input and receive some more positive and quality-like content, please visit masterminduniverse.net, which will take you to Mastermind University. And you can check it out for yourself. And thank you so much for your time and attention. And just to remember... You know, what you sow is what you reap. And be an open valve in your mind with your thoughts to receiving blessing into your life. Know it to be so. Claim it before you obtain it. And it'll happen for you. And again, thank you for your time and attention. Have a wonderful and blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video.